Welcome back to Ozarks Tonight. Well, there are a couple new exciting exhibits coming to the Art Museum here in Springfield that we want to take some time to tell you about. One of them is going to be an outdoor exhibit. It's already set up and then another wonderful artist is setting up work on the inside as well. So we invited in the curator, Sarah Burr, from the Art Museum here in Springfield. It's great to see you again, Sarah. We bring you guys in every yeah. every month or so for a little chat. Thanks uh, for having so, us. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us first, let's start off with the outdoor exhibit. Uh, okay. It's a Sean Bitters exhibit and it's set up outside between the Art Museum and Phelps Grove Park. Tell us what it's all about. Well, it sort of developed out of uh, our master planning process, mm -hmm. which I think a lot of people know that we went through a master plan about a year ago to think about where the museum could be in the future. And one of the conversations that developed out of that was, why are we not doing more with the parks that's right next door to us? And so as I was, I was already working with Sean Bitters on an interior project. Mm -hmm. He was in part of our 4x4 exhibit. And when I was talking with him, he was telling me about this really neat installation that he was doing in Kansas City. So we started talking about bringing it to Springfield. And when I reached out to Parks about, hey, would you guys want to partner and put this partially in Phelps Grove? They were completely on board and really supportive. So that it was a pretty short process for us, actually. So we installed it a couple weeks ago on one of the hottest days in July. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's called Burnout. It's 23 stones. Um, they're modeled after volcanic bombs. Mm -hmm. And it starts at the museum, sort of on our south berm, and snakes its way across through the park all the way up to the north end where there's a little median um, and a neat little structure there where you enter Phelps Grove. Sure. So this, as you go through, um, this is supposed to tell a story as you wind through, correct? It is. It's a narrative. It's... He, Sean works a lot with the landscape and he thinks about how to give voice to the landscape. Yeah. So each stone represents a letter and you can download a QR code or you can go to the front desk and get a copy of the key and each stone then you can decode and it sort of has a, a message or a story if you will. So you can kind of read the landscape as you walk through the path. All right, that's going to be very exciting, and it's right there by Phelps Grove Park. Yes. So if you're down in that area, might as well just walk just a short distance right over to the Art Museum and enjoy what's going on over there as well. Exactly, yeah. We've got a new exhibit opening next week that you can enjoy as well. Yeah, let's talk about that. Uh, you guys had a uh, successful run with uh, the Nick Cave sound suits that were in the, uh, in the museum for much of the year so far. I think they came in the, uh, the spring, and they are just now moving out, and you guys actually got to keep one of those sound we suits did. which yes. is really exciting um, so that is still there if people want to see that mm -hmm. um, but the, the new exhibit coming in tell us about that it's a traveling show that was originated by the Smithsonian Anacostia Museum and it features uh, beaded tapestries made by a group of women called the Abukle women who are from South Africa okay. and they're gorgeous gorgeous works um, they just glitter they use Czechoslovakian glass beads and some are abstract, some are more narrative. Um, it includes an enormous piece that was actually bigger than our walls, so we had to make some modifications. Um, but they're beautiful tapestries that sort of deal with, um, it's both a way for those women to have financial independence mm -hmm. and also a way to talk about what it's like living in South Africa and their personal lives in South Africa. Absolutely. Of these uh, tapestries, do you have a personal favorite that you've seen so far that Honestly, you enjoy the most? Honestly, not yet. Every time we opened a crate, we were like, ah, this one's more beautiful than the next. <laughs> um, I've walked through several times as we've been installing, and I do not have a favorite yet. They're really, really incredible. Okay. Uh, and how many tapestries total, or about how many are There's you guys? There's 40 tapestries and one huge installation that's made up of, sep of multiple pieces. Okay. And you said that that was going to be at the Art Museum for what, three months? For about three months. It opens next Saturday, and we have all kinds of activities next Saturday. There's guided tours, there's um, hands-on activities, everything is free um, from 10 to 6 next Saturday. Sure, and the uh, the outdoor exhibit, the Sean Bitters exhibit, how long is that going to be It will be for? up for a year. So okay. we, it's, it's already been utilized. I know people have been decoding and we're excited to see what it will look like when the weather changes, you know, mm -hmm. with fall leaves, with snow maybe, <laughs> it should change. Um, so it'll be up for a year. That's very cool. Uh, I mean, People are still outside in the, in the winter. Some exactly. of them like to, uh, you know, stay around in the park. So what better opportunity to come check out some very cool art at the uh, Springfield Art Museum. Uh, Sarah, just let us know uh, once again uh, what your guys' hours are if people are interested in coming by. We're open Tuesday through Saturday 10 to 6, and then late on Thursdays till 8, and then Sundays 1 to 5. Okay, and if uh, I would assume the outdoor exhibit 
are people free to stop by at any time? Absolutely. I mean, that's open basically 24-7. I know the parks has park hours, so mm -hmm. they don't want people there super late at night, but it's open to the public basically any time. All right. Very good. Well, Sarah Burr with the Springfield Art Museum, yeah. I want to thank you for coming in today. Yeah. Uh, we always appreciate catching up and see, seeing what's going on at the Art Museum down there. It's always Thanks a lot so of fun. Thanks so much for having us. All right, Sarah. Thank you. Yep. We'll be back with more Ozarks tonight right after this.